Hi there! My name is Diana and today I'm here to give you a few tips on how you can practice and prepare for your demo mini lesson. The first thing that you're going to need to make sure that you have ready and prepared is what you're going to wear. You don't need to wear anything fancy, but make sure what you're wearing is comfortable and something that you would just walk into an actual classroom wearing. The second thing you need to make sure you have ready is your environment. You need to make sure that you have together a nice corner of the room or an office space or a classroom if you happen to have a classroom. Um, just somewhere where you can sit down, no distractions, and somewhere where you can actually you know, have a conversation with the student. The next thing you need to make sure you have are props and materials. Some simple printouts of pictures that I'm going to be using in my mini lesson. Um, which I've just printed out from online. I found a website that has free graphics that I can use. And I also have a few uh, manipulatives that I have, I already had with me, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, if you don't have these, you can get them, and you can find free resources online. Um, but just something that I can have in my hand ready to use when I have my demo mini lesson. Fourth thing is to make sure that you have good audio visual. Make sure you can hear yourself clearly, see yourself clearly, and also um, test out your tech. Make sure it all works before you hop on to teach a lesson with kids. So after you have all four of these things ready, you can get ready for your mini lesson. The first thing we're gonna ask you to do is prepare a one minute introduction about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your background. Tell us about things that you enjoy. Tell us about why you're interested in this position. Uh, and tell us why you want to be working with kids. Okay, so I'm going to give you a one minute introduction of what mine will look like and you can feel free to use things that are similar or change it a bit. Hi everyone, my name is Diana and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I have a Master of Arts in Teaching and I've been teaching for the past six years now. The past two years specifically, I have taught ESL, which is why I am so interested in teaching um, an English class abroad. Um, virtually and prior to my teaching career I have also had experience in college when I traveled to China I also tutored uh, two kids ages three and five and I tutored them in English as well even before my college years I also had experience with kids working at summer camps um, I worked at two different tutoring agencies and so I have a lot of experience with kids and I love working with them Hi class, today we are going to be working on the letter M. Mm. We are going to be sorting pictures and it goes here if it does begin with M mm, or here if it doesn't begin with M. Mm. Our first picture is Ladybug. Ladybug, can you repeat after me? Ladybug. Nice job, ladybug, very good. Hmm. Ladybug, should it go over here or over here? Ladybug, hmm, nope. You're right guys, it goes over here, good work. The next word we have is moon. Moon, can you repeat after me? Moon. Moon, nice job. Moon, mmm, moon, mmm. Nice work, goes over there. Next word, ooh, yummy. Grapes, grapes. Can you repeat after me? Grapes, grapes, nice job. G, gr, g, g, grapes. You got it. Nice job, guys. Two more pictures to go. Hmm. Mustache. 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 Can you repeat after me? Mustache. Amazing. Mustache. Mm. Mm. Mustache. Mustache. Yep, you're right. It goes over here. Mm. And the last one. Our last one, milk, milk, milk. 
Nice job. Milk. Milk. Hmm. Milk. Milk. Nice job. You are right. It goes under the letter M. Milk. Very good, guys. Nice work. All right, guys, the next activity we are going to be working on is with the word family, ig. Ig. Nice work, ig. The first word we have for our word family is pig. P, ig. Pig. Nice work. Can you repeat after me? Pig. Awesome. Pig is gonna go right under here because it does match our word family, ig. Next up. The next word we have is wig. Wig. Can you repeat after me? Wig. Wig. Nice job. Nice job. Two down. Two to go. The next word we have is b ig. B ig. Big. Can you repeat after me? Big. Amazing. Big. Perfect. And last word. Hmm. D ig. D Egg. Dig. Amazing. Can you repeat after me? Dig. Great. Dig is our last word. Nice job. Let's go over them one more time together. P. Egg. Pig. W. Egg. Wig. B. Egg. Egg. And d, egg, dig. Nice job, you guys. That was great.